present unreal conditionals. What is this all about? When we use unreal conditionals, we put ourselves into an imagined state of mind. We are thinking of things not as they are, real, but as we might imagine them to be, unreal. For example, I wish I had a dog. Real situation, I don't have a dog. Unreal situation, I am imagining what it would be like to have a dog. When we use conditionals, we think of what would happen if certain conditions existed. For example, if I had a dog, I would be happy. If I had a dog, I wouldn't be so lonely. To express unreal conditions, we have to take a step back. Not a step back in time, but a step back in grammar. If the real situation is in the present, we express the unreal situation in the past tense. For example, I wish I lived in Hawaii. I wish. I'm in the present, wishing. I lived in Hawaii. I'm not really in Hawaii, but my imagination can go there. Look at it this way. In English, we take a step back, grammatically, to talk about the imagined situation. Now, in reality. Now, in my imagination in Hawaii. This table might help. Present, real. Take a step back. Use past tense for imagination or the unreal situation. Present, real situation. Imagined, unreal situation. I don't really live in Hawaii. I wish I lived in Hawaii. Now let's add some conditions. If I lived in Hawaii, I would go to the beach every day. The word if creates a condition that puts us in the imagined or unreal situation. Let's expand the table. Present, real situation, take a step back. Past tense for imaginary situations. Present, real situation. I don't really live, live in Hawaii. I wish. Imagined, unreal situation. I wish I lived in Hawaii. Set the conditions. Use past tense for unreal conditions. If I lived in Hawaii, describe the results. I would go to the beach every day. Did you see what happened with the grammar? If I lived in Hawaii, set the condition as unreal or imagined. I would go to the beach every day. Tell the results of the condition. If, past tense, then, would plus verb. Sometimes we can take out the word then. To review, for the present, unreal conditional. Use past tense to set the condition and would plus verb to fill in the details or results. If I lived in Hawaii, I would go to the beach every day. If I had a dog, then I would be happy. If I went to the ball game, I would buy some popcorn. Wait, we're not finished yet. There's one more rule. When talking about status, we use a special type of grammar. For be verbs, we use were in the present unreal conditional, regardless of the subject. That means for every subject, the be verb is were in the present unreal conditional. Look at these examples. 
They wish they were students. If they were students, they wouldn't work outside. I wish I were a doctor. If I were a doctor, I would be rich. Status here means what a person is, not what he or she does. Some more examples. I wish I were a CEO. If I were a CEO, I would have a nice office. If I had a nice office, I would relax every day. If I relaxed every day, I would start to get fat. If I got fat, I would need to exercise more. If I exercised more, I would be very tired. Hmm. I wish I were a computer programmer instead. Now you try it. Put yourself in an imaginary situation. I wish. Tell what you would do in those conditions. If I, past tense, then I would. Go ahead and take as much time as you would like to practice this. See if you can correct the mistakes. Some sentences may already be correct. Feel free to pause the video and take as much time as you need. Answer key. Number one. Correct. I wish I were a fish. Number two. Incorrect. If I were a fish, I would live in the ocean. Number three. Incorrect. If he lived in Cambodia, he would visit Angkor Wat. Number four, incorrect. I wish I had a million dollars. Number five, correct. Frank wishes he had a motorcycle. Number six, correct. If Frank were rich, he would buy a motorcycle. Seven, incorrect. If Cindy were a lawyer, she would have lots of money. 8. Correct. If I were in Ohio, I would see my grandparents. 9. Correct. If I had enough money, I would buy a house. 10. Incorrect. If I had a house, I would invite you over for dinner. Hope that was helpful. Remember to give it a thumbs up in the comment section below. And please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Let us know your ideas for our next video. Send us an email at the link below. This video is brought to you by the following English learning websites.